Welcome to Resting Normality. What is happening? My name is Aaron from Breaking the Cycle. Join my face. As always, say your face if I can't see your face. Travis. I don't know. From Howie Games. And Cody. Hi. From Stealing Life. Hello. How are you guys? Are you having a good week? We had a pretty good week. I can't remember what happened this week. (laughs) You can't remember? Why? It's all a blur. Just so no, I had to go sit in a meeting for like six hours about how to use a computer, and I fell asleep because when they told me everyone when under thirty five to... knows how to use a computer. Well, they were trying to explain instant messaging to me. <laughs> what? And I literally fell asleep. And the instructor I, had to yell at me. I, like, I could just imagine like an old dude with a pointer, and it happened. Instantaneously, <laughs> you send a message that it writes it down into your cellular device, oh and you God. press well, the no, buttons it's, it's, associated it's, with the letters you need. Then you press fair, enter. It's a, new, it's a new computer and system it at work. Instantaneously. <laughs> Okay, I'm done. <laughs> but uh, to be fair, it's a new computer system at work. It it was just so boring, though, because, like, I mean, once you knew how to open the app, that's the end of it. It's just a messenger device, right? right? And so then you had to sit through, you know, the rest of the... They talked about it for 45 minutes. Was there emojis? About, um, No, but there was group functions, which is why they took 45 minutes, I'm assuming. <laughs> I don't know. I was asleep for most of it. You can add... People to your group and talk to them. You at can the talk same to time. more than one people. <laughs> Look at all the people you can talk to. That's great. But yeah, that was my week. <laughs> that was your week. Wow. Good deal. Exciting. Yeah, I guess I finished Subnautica, the beta. Oh, the 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 early acts. No, no, I was gonna say this the uh the ice one, right? Below zero or something? Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, so far it's pretty good, but um, I would have to say that my only gripe so far on it is um, when you get out of the dangerous. water and explore um, islands, there's this blizzard functionality, which would be kind of cool, you know, to happen ever so often because it like snow blinds you, right? Like you can't see anything, you know, who knows what could be out there. You I just see the advertisements for the game. It's just like with now with blizzard functionality. <laughs> <laughs> well, those stupid fucking storms show up every three seconds in the beta, which I, I do not know because you're like, oh, cool. I want to explore this new area. Oh, blizzard. Hold on a second. Oh, okay, let's go see. Oh, wait, Blizzard. I Honestly, I think uh, yeah. <laughs> all versions of Subnautica have basically been like community feedback the game because they've all started off kind of terrible. <laughs> and then everyone's like, that's fucking terrible. And they're like, oh, okay, well, we'll change that. And then it's like, okay, cool, that's better. But this is terrible. And they're like, oh, okay, cool, we'll change that. They listen really well. That's good. But uh, they just keep on like making kind of awful things at the beginning and, and just, just let and just let people just kind of dictate where the direction goes and it makes for like is that what sonic is doing oh i mean sort of but they're just changing the character <laughs> it's gonna be bad no matter what i watched the trailer again for that sonic movie oh yeah that movie looks funny dude no no, no yeah yeah be- that looks fucking funny and i'm mad if at it's people an awkward for getting funny so- no it just looks funny to me it didn't even look like bad funny it legitimately looks funny, and I know I'm oh. probably an idiot. No, 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 no. But I think it legitimately looks funny. I think every second that Jim Carrey is on screen is going to be the best thing ever. Definitely. <laughs> but I think it's... I, I'm kind of mad at people for getting so mad about how the character looks. And oh, just, I don't like, care about that at all. It looks funny. I think it's going to be good. Yeah, I didn't care about that I at all. I think it was think... because the character got borderline <clears throat> fucking creepy. I mean, like how he looked. I guess, but get over yourself. I think it, I mean he was not a good looking character. People to people were talking about the the uncalibrated. Dude, I have my little piece. that's all. But uh, I, guess. I have my little Dragon I Ball Z. I don't that. really care like, that much. It's so yeah. The biggest so thing though is is I think the the guy who plays the voice actor for Sonic and uh, his I guess it's like the cop guy. I I feel like there's gonna be a lot of flat jokes coming out of both of those guys. 
and uh, it may or may not be funny. I hope it's good because I always hope that things are good, but I know that every second of Jim Carrey is going to be amazing. It is. <laughs> yeah, his stuff looks fantastic. Mm-hmm. The reason that I automatically have like low expectations for it, though, is I don't think I've ever seen a video game turned into a movie that's been like good to like, really good. I like the first Tomb Raider. I, I, I like the new Tomb Raider. I didn't like it was OK. I could take it or leave it. Um, I don't know if I watched that. It was good. Yeah. It's a lot better than the Angelina Jolie stuff. I thought it, it was oh, I've never quirky. Seen it. And, and, and I hate Angelina Jolie. So. Oh, OK. Fair enough. Yeah. I see your face, and it just but, um, instant hatred happens. So, oh god, yeah, I'm, I'm a dick. That. <laughs> I'm an asshole. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Um, I, I know there's. But, um, why can't I even? Travis think loved of the Wow any. movie. I never watched it. The Wow movie was okay. No, you oh, loved it. It was pretty good. You <laughs> wanted to put your penis in its butthole. <laughs> wow. There was some. But there was some things but. about it that I was like, man, you know, yeah. just because I know the lore mm-hmm. a little bit better. Um, your super nerddom got in the way of the movie. Super nerddom. Well, yeah, I mean, when you know everything about, like, and I don't know everything, because, wow, lore is fucking massive. Too much. Oh, yeah. Um, That's what you call a too much. <laughs> I, too I much. think it's yeah. really cool, because I can always go and read a new story. There's always something. Right, there. yeah. Um, oh, I just thought of a thing but, I want to say. Don't let me forget, Aaron. Uh, okay this just remind me say. but okay. like as far as the movie goes like, like, like oh cody you had a thing you wanted yeah, to say, say you'd that. be like <laughs> the wow i think the wow movie and the first resident evil were like oh the that's to, right like, dude everybody shits on that first resident evil fuck that, that was that by movie far amazing. the, I liked best, the first resident, resident, that was the evil. best resident evil movie yeah well i mean they, by far. they yeah. totally went down that was the only good one i did kind of like the second one also that was all right. I, um, it but was the, okay. the rest of them were I, just like, I mean, did you see it, it this happened. last one? Hmm. Oh, boy. Was that so many mistakes was that were the, made? Was that the one in Vegas or maybe? I can't remember. They're all which kind one of a blur. Was. All I know is Extinction. I wanted Extinction was in Vegas. I wanted to break my own face watching oh. this movie. It's terrible. Does Is it weird that I still really want to go and see it? I, I still want to see because I don't I don't think because I watched You'll, the first two. Well, Aaron, gonna, uh, uh, see we've Avengers discussed. <sighs> well, and you don't have but to go anywhere. Isn't it's been out of here. theaters for like ten years. <laughs> ten years. <laughs> like uh, they haven't made a yeah, Resident but, movie, like, Evil movie don't, since two thousand nine. Tell him that though. Like he needs to prioritize, and he should probably see Avengers first. Yeah, but since the movie came out in two thousand nine, that means I could probably look it up no, on like waste your Hulu time. or some shit. You could go to Vegas and, and be see like, Avengers, but you could. Not go to Vegas, and I could just uh, you could watch something Avengers, here, and then you could see Pikachu. But see, the the problem is, Avengers takes me like I want to see Pikachu an hour and a half to get there, three hours to watch a movie, and then an hour and a half to get back here, right? So that's yeah, take just on a, take just on a fucking to watch date. a movie when I could just take just on a you date. Walked, here, you, you walked know, like go. six miles for makeup. That wasn't for me though. That was for my wife, and I do. But you still wife. did that thing, yeah. though. But it's not for me. You, uh, it was if it was for me, I'd care so much less. <laughs> would, this would be for both of you because I know Jess likes the Avengers, doesn't she? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, they she's don't. Not, she's not both like a of super us are fan, just kind of like yeah. yeah no, they good. don't see. That's the thing. We, they don't care like we do. Mm-mm. Like I no. I was nervous to see the I, movie. I think and you I know care. Travel is too. Yeah. I think you care the most, honestly, just because you've been an old school fan. Oh, yeah. I do. I do definitely, definitely care, and I care too much. Like, I'm not trying to tell people that they should care like I do. <laughs> it's meaningless, and I care way too much. Right. But, man, it's amazing, and I forgot what we were talking about. Video game movies. Oh, I can't yeah. think of any yeah. other ones. Um, and I know there's so many, but my brain doesn't work. Yeah, well, Doom. Uh, Doom. I Dude, didn't I liked watch. Doom. I didn't see it. Uh, no, wait, I liked did it. Did I see it? It was bad, though. You gotta admit. I mean, it but bad. it was entertaining. I just I thought it was cool. It, I remember seeing it was scenes so bad, of it The was Rock funny, being Doom I think. Guy. I don't think it was that bad. It was pretty bad. But I don't <laughs> specifically the remember The Rock wasn't did. Doom Guy, though. He wasn't? He was in it. No. He oh, was then I didn't see it. I think in, Carl Urban? He turned into a was demon, in didn't he? Carl Urban. <laughs> was it I, Carl I Urban? Carl I think Urban that's who it was. I'm probably way off. It was probably like Steve Stevenson or something. Carl Urban or Steve Stevenson. Tom Thompson. People with names. <laughs> Jimmy Jimerson. <laughs> so uh, I thought that movie was cool, though, but also I was like, what, 12 when that movie came out? Right. So, and I don't think I've seen it since. So, 
It's I was going to say, like, that. I, have bad. you watched it recently? Because I've seen it recently. See, Joe Jones and Steve Stevenson's. <laughs> And well, actually, it's kind of funny. I try not to do that, too, but this little old lady at my work was watching it. Mm. And she's, she's just chilling in her room watching Doom. I'm like, is this That's awesome. having fun? Is this entertaining like, for yeah. you? <laughs> yeah, I try not to do she's that. like, this was a weird movie. Because, like, I showed, <laughs> I showed uh, Jess Lost Boys, because I fucking love Lost Boys. Do you guys remember that movie? It doesn't hold up mm-hmm. to the time. Oh, yeah, my like the God, vampires. that movie's terrible. And it made me so sad because I had such good memories of that movie. Yeah. And now I hate that movie. And she was like, we're watching it. It's like 45 minutes in. And she's like, so is there going to be vampires? I was like, yeah, I thought there was a lot more. (laughs) I don't know what's going on. I think that's one of the reasons why they always say don't meet your idols. This is kind of <laughs> it doesn't, like yeah. it's it's a comparable situation well, with movies. It's like they used to be. I forget how slow they used to be. Yeah, they used to lead you in with the setup for like 45 minutes to an hour. Mm-hmm. And now it's like the first scene is like explosions and people getting their fucking dicks chopped off. Yeah. Well, yeah, you got a retention, dude. You got to yeah. keep people interested. Yeah. No one has an attention span anymore. But yeah. I mean, like on the really good movies, though, it still works. Like Alien, you watch Alien. It is slow for a long yeah. time. Yeah. But good God, is that a good movie? Yeah. I just watched it recently. Ah, uh, Thank you. <laughs> um, that movie totally holds up. Like, and it works perfectly. The pacing is amazing. I watched it probably like a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. So good. It's still good. There are some that, that work. Like Lost Boys does not. It's just boring. Yeah. Very boring. Um, and that fucking scene. Have you guys seen Lost Boys recently? Because welcome to Lost Boys cast. <laughs> here we go. Uh, um, no, I haven't. I haven't seen so it recently. So maybe I could jog your memory. Do you remember, like, it's early in the movie when they're at the little, like, fair carnival thing, whatever the fuck. And uh, they go to the concert. You don't remember? Is the, this with the guy with the mullet? The, the sax man. With no shirt and tight ass jeans, <laughs> and I think he's got like a chain, Dude, like I... just a chain, not like a gold chain, like a fucking stupid chain. Dude, can I be sax man? Oh. <laughs> no, I don't remember sax man. Remember... Like honestly, do I don't remember, remember that man? movie very Aaron, much. Look up sax man, please. Uh, I'm trying to look up the movie because I don't know From if Lost I ever Boys. even saw you it. Never saw Lost Boys? I don't think so. Dude, all I remember, Cody, a year is ago, like I told the, you that was a good movie. <laughs> The only uh, the only thing I really remember about Lost Boys is that stupid song. They're like, about to go to that not fall. Like, or something like that. I have no that idea. That was way off, the... but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like, <laughs> it's the song I don't remember of, like, the kids even how it goes. all hauntingly. Uh, yeah. Apparently that song is called Cry Little Sister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. But that. there's a scene but in like, the beginning. Fucking, that's all I remember. When they're at the concert thing, and Saxman, like, he's ripped. He's oiled up too much, too much oil, and he's got, like, the tightest jeans on, and he's rocking that, that sax, dude. But the scene lasts for 12 days. Like, it is just a long fucking scene. Like, you see his whole performance, mm-hmm. and I forgot that it was that long, so I'm, I'm watching it with Jess, and she's, like, confused as fuck. Like, it turns out we're just watching Saxman the movie. Yeah. Oh, hey, there he is! <laughs> On the Did trailer, it's Man? literally the first thing it shows. Of course it is. And he's, like, okay. gyrating. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, does he have a chain on, or did I make that up? No, 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 hold on, hold on. I want to look now. I want to look now. <laughs> yes, he does. He does, he has, right? He has a, not only does he have a chain, but he has a, cho- a gold choker oh, okay, yeah, yeah. with a chain yeah, that comes down. Yeah. Oh, that was weird. You're weird. <laughs> No, go to Google real quick. I already Googled it. Corey Feldman. No, no. What the shit? You didn't know Corey Feldman was in the... Have <laughs> no. you never seen Lost Boys? Aaron. No, I ha- I definitely haven't seen this movie. Hold on, I'm trying to teach you a cool Google thing. Hey, but We're talking fuck. about Lost Boys. We're, we're having a conversation no, look, look about things. Why do you always do this? <laughs> go to Google. Oh, go to Kiefer Google. Kiefer Sutherland. Right oh, dude, I love Kiefer Sutherland. In the search <laughs> bar, uh, in the, in the top also, type YouTube... God, Kiefer? Damn though? it. Kiefer, yeah. Kiefer. Because Who he, fucking looks like a baby Kiefer. and is like, oh yeah, Kiefer. Well, you know, there are people who name their kids things. That Kiefer? Aren't like Dank ra- like, or Marijuana. Like Dank. Uh, is there a kid named Dank? Yes. There's also, <laughs> yeah. there's, there's been kids named Blaze. There are uh, 
there are children out there named things. But that... those are things. I've never heard of a kefir. What's kefir? Is that a thing that I don't know? Okay, so when you have the marijuana and um Keith. you look at it yeah Is it has yeah. little oh. it has little crystals on the marijuana right that you could see uh-huh and um if you like I feel like you could have explained this faster if you he have a very much if you have, have a grinder if you have a grinder or something like that um the powder that falls off that's Keith. like the the crystals and it's supposed to be cool. more potent it's and blah, blah, blah. super potent it's what they it, they use it for 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 dabbing so right so that's why they Named him yeah. Kiefer. Yeah. Um, no, I'm sure it's a it's a traditional they, name before that. Uh, they make oil for dabbing here. I is don't it, think they is it, that for is dabbing. it THC oil? The use of that. I think so. Well, I don't know. It looks sticky. I, I, don't, I don't. I don't, know. I don't do the pots. So you might be right. <laughs> <laughs> the pots. I've never dabbed, so like you might be right. I don't fucking know. But I dab, dab right every now. day. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Are we dabbing Dude, right that, now? Is that no, what I we dabbed? are not dabbing. Aaron, <laughs> Aaron dabbed. Just, Aaron that, dabbed. That was it. But I dabbed Zach's with Aaron. man's scene in that movie is too long. Thank you. Think of how long his scene should be, Aaron, and then tell me. Um, Actually, the trailer where it just flashed him for a second, that was probably about right. Right? <laughs> it lasts for about seven minutes. Fuck. And I, no, don't, I don't think I'm exaggerating. You know, It's so long, dude. So I compare that to, do you remember... Uh, uh, Matrix Reloaded and the uh, no the party scene where they're underground and everyone's like half naked and everyone's Is like... Is that where like the building falls on them all? Yeah, the bad music. Yeah, and everyone's just like going at it. Dude, that goes for a long time. Yeah, it's like 22 minutes. It's fucking long. Yeah. And like I'm like, okay, can this end now? Because this is boring as balls. And they're like, I know everyone's like, oh, look at all these sexy people doing things that are sexy. And I'm like, dude, I don't just. I guess that's what sax man was. Yeah, it sexy was sexy man with a sax. Yeah, doing it, his thing. Because everyone wants him to have sax. sax. What <laughs> movie are you talking about? Aaron? <laughs> I I don't. I want to end my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! Are you trying I don't to say something, Travis? Anymore? Nope, not anymore. Did you not have a comment on Sax Man? Not nope. I just so, couldn't believe how long it was. Side note: um, It's a bad movie. If I end up getting that microphone, you know, you're gonna use this one. We're both gonna sound like Ooh, buttery like, smooth, mm, like, like a velvet like, bitch. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, like a velvet bitch. Like a, Which one is he using right now? Just the he's just, sure. just using the SM57. Yeah, yeah. Which I mean, that one still sounds. It sounds great, yeah. But it doesn't yeah. sound buttery smooth. So, um, since this topic totally interests me, not the mic thing, the movie thing. I know that was, <laughs> that was, that was a side note. Um, is there a movie you watched recently? Not Aaron. Travis, because you don't watch movies. Well, you don't. Fuck you. You don't watch movies, so this you're not involved. Travis, that you watched recently that you loved and now you hate because it does not hold um, up at all. Not really. I haven't really watched any older movies. You don't go like back and rewatch recently. movies. I do, just I haven't done that recently. Oh, no. yeah. Because that's so, that's the most disappointing thing for me when I have a movie that I. I'm love. kind of afraid to. I'm kind of afraid to go watch. Uh, Donnie Darko now though now that we've talked about this you don't think Donnie Darko is going to hold up I hope it does but like I haven't seen that since I was li- living with Aaron I mean yeah it's been um, Aaron, yes Aaron you in the back <laughs> sir yes I know that neither of you guys have seen this oh god damn it <laughs> how come the only things you've seen is obscure as Paul's nobody's seen <laughs> dude and seriously no one's seen okay, this what is it so there was a comedy movie from Hawaii called Raps Hawaii. Yeah, no, it, never it seen it. <laughs> it was you've, you've mentioned this to me before. So but I haven't fucking seen it. funny. I still quote this and nobody gets it. Uh-huh. It's it's such an old reference that my wife doesn't even get it. <laughs> it's just basically just a joke within my family because I don't even know where the hell we got this thing wow. from. But it was funny as shit when yeah. I was a kid. There's still. Did you get it from the movie? Huh? Yeah. Well, he means. Then you know where he got no, it. No, he means where they saw the movie from. I think, right? Oh, That's what you're well, no, no. Well, yeah. Uh, I don't know where we bought the movie because yeah. I've never seen it. Nobody's again. heard of this yeah, movie. No, and but um, I watched it again recently, and like 
90 percent because it's like a sketch comedy thing and um it's most of it's just like what the fuck is going on there's still one scene because i quoted it so much it's still funny as fuck um and it's like a a a parody cooking show and it's so god this lady is like just trashed so wasted (laughs) oh my dad quote okay i want to see if this is what you what yeah because i my dad quotes this and i'm gonna ask him about it if it's the quote that i'm thinking of go ahead what's the quote the one where you could put it in the oven for um on 300 degrees for like three hours you could, you could go in the oven for 350 degrees for three hours or five degrees for four days <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that one my dad says that shit what and the I, fuck? I wonder wow. if he's seen that movie it, it, yeah but wow. that, my dad's weird like that too cody like he just randomly will know stupid shit. Like <laughs> <laughs> just know stupid things. But he does. He this guy like he I always wanted to put him on like Jeopardy and shit because he just knows stuff. Yeah. Well, I don't think raps Hawaii is that what it's called? <laughs> is a yeah. category on Jeopardy. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, although I, if it was million million dollar dollar we'd fucking destroy that shit. Man. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, yeah, it'd be the million like, dollar question. I like that. So is that uh, like your favorite movie that nobody knows? Yeah, and on top, it it doesn't hold up as well as it used to. No, but I did. I loved that movie. It See, was I'm so scared good. to go back and watch some of my weird movies because, mm. like, there's this movie that I love called Bubba Hotep. Okay, <laughs> Bubba Hotep. Bubba Hotep. Was it, this released around the time that the mummy came, came out? With that name. Yeah, yeah, and it was like a parody thing. Yeah, okay. It's um, Th- that was a guess. I had, it, it's never a Bruce seen Campbell Hotep. movie. Oh, I want to know about it, this. It's a Bruce Campbell movie, and he. he <laughs> no, just trust it. I don't know. It's got Bruce, Bruce Campbell. Campbell in. Just go for it. It's hilarious. He's he's Elvis. <laughs> in, in a retirement of, home. Of course he is. He's living in a retirement home. And he's Elvis, but nobody knows he's Elvis because Elvis died. Right. But what actually happened is he, like, switched lives with a guy, and so that guy died. But the real Elvis is Bruce Campbell in this retirement home. And he's living with this other, there's this other, uh, there's this black guy in the movie, but he's a famous black guy. I can't, I haven't seen the movie recently, so I don't remember who he is, but he's another one that's supposed to be dead, mm-hmm. but he's not because he's there for mm-hmm. some reason. And they have to fight this mummy that is like taking the souls of all the people in the retirement home. So it's Elvis and this other (laughs) famous old black man fighting a mummy. And it is hilarious. Also horrible at the same time. But that's probably my favorite movie that nobody's ever seen. I, I definitely haven't seen this, but I I want to know. Hotep. Maybe I should just like, maybe that should be a fucking review video. (laughs) Maybe I'll review it on my channel. (laughs) It's good, dude. It's, I mean, it's not, but it's good. <laughs> it's it's. I really mean, I bad, love Bruce good. Campbell. I'm a huge Bruce Campbell fan. Are you looking it up, Aaron? I might be. <laughs> yeah, maybe you can tell me who the black guy's supposed to be, because I forget. It was played by Aussie Davis. I think he's supposed to be, like, another famous guy. I could be wrong about that. Maybe it's just Elvis. Um, oh, fuck off. Yeah, it, the character's name is just Jack. Oh, uh, okay. So maybe Elvis and then just his buddy Jack. Jack. But it's, yeah, it's pretty fucking funny. <laughs> it. <laughs> I love his Bruce buddy Campbell Jack. movies. Oh. Could you imagine trying to pitch that, Aaron, to like a producer? Like, cause you, so you go down to a networking officer, whoever you're going to go see that's going to fund this movie. Mm-hmm. You're like, all right. So Elvis is in a nursing home and his buddy Jack are going to fight this mummy, right? (laughs) Like, huh. Wonder how that one went. And somebody said yes. That's the big part here. Somebody Somebody said yes. And then I bought it on DVD. (laughs) I got that movie from uh, Hollywood Video when they closed down. You know they sent me to collections for three dollars. Oh goes. no, Jesus! Three dollars. So, I, I looked up the plot summary, like a synopsis, uh-huh. and it opens with Elvis Presley and a black JFK. Oh, that's who it is. Yeah, yeah, it's JFK. It's John F. Kennedy. Yes, yeah, JFK. That's who it is. 
Stay. But he's black. How did he get black? <laughs> Stay in a nursing home where nothing happens until a wayward Egyptian mummy comes and sucks the sucks out the old people's souls <laughs> yeah. through, the, the old people. through oh their a holes. Yeah. yeah, he's a butt mummy. <laughs> yeah. Um, what? He's a butt mummy. Yeah. <laughs> he sucks it through their buttholes. And the two decide to fight back. Yeah. That Dude. might be the worst worded plot summary also. That movie is fucking amazing. <laughs> I'm good. I'm <laughs> You're like, I'm so, done. I'm done. Does, okay, I want to know, does anybody question that John F. Kennedy is now black? I, I mean, mean, nobody believes it, the old men, though. That's the thing. Like, nobody oh, no. believes that he's actually Elvis and nobody believes them about anything. So there's there's a legitimate answer well, for why the black guy he either. isn't dead. You know, he switched lives as yeah. a guy. Yeah. There's there's any explanation for why John F. Kennedy is now black? I haven't seen it recently enough to remember. Did his soul get sucked out of his butthole? No. And they get put into a black man? No, the butthole sucking is just the mummy, and then those people die. See, that's... That's what I what my question was like. Does anybody question it, or is it just like, no, he's black, it's okay? Like we get that. No, I, like, I don't you know. think like the people in the nursing home know he's JFK. How did Bruce Campbell come to understand that he was John F. Kennedy? Dude, I don't remember. We're gonna have to watch the movie. I think we should have a movie night. Maybe we should, Aaron. Yeah, and we should watch this movie. And yeah. then Travis, you could fly down here for the night, right? And watch the movie with us. Fly down for the you weekend. Know, man. We could always just put it on Thursday to, to. We could literally watch Why? the movie just like we're doing. Why right would now. we go through that much trouble? That'd be you so could much just effort. fly down here. Take it's, some it's time really off. Not that much just effort. take like a just, week off of work. Yeah, just, put it on. Yeah, just go. No, just, th- it's the Thursday to Sunday flight, man. It'd be like a hundred bucks. Yeah, like like literally, right now. All we'd have to do is turn the movie on. No, it makes no sense they, what you're talking about. That's way too much effort. Dude, that's hard. Just take a week off work, yeah. fly down here. Yep. Well, wa- I have the movie already on DVD. Yeah. yeah. We could watch you know, it together. You know, your logic is just so fucking undeniable. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but I'm serious. We should watch, like, you guys should definitely watch that movie. It's fucking. It's Bruce Campbell. I'll totally it's watch it. It's so bad. It's so funny, though. God. Like, in total budget, like, four bucks. <laughs> probably yeah probably i mean it's a bruce campbell movie right he is fantastic though of course I he is love bruce he's campbell. never not fantastic my god travis oh D. my god what the budget was a million dollars on it oh god that is basically four dollars on that movie that's yeah. basically four dollars in movies though you know what it made its opening weekend i mean but back then let me guess Thirty-seven fifty. <laughs> Thirty-seven fifty. Like, Thirty-seven dollars and fifty cents. Travis, do you have a guess as what this movie made on its opening weekend? <laughs> made three fifty. No, if I'm being serious, yeah. it probably made. I, I'd say uh, I'd say a hundred grand. Oh, I think that's too high. I you would think so? say thirty on its opening weekend. Forty-two thousand dollars. Thirty-five thousand dollars. Oh shit! I was gonna say thirty-five thousand, oh. and I changed it to forty-two. <laughs> Damn it! I lost the prices right. Yeah. I lost the showcase. Yep, but uh, it did... Uh, so that was a flop. Well, it did... Dude, it's a Bruce Campbell movie. It did gross $2 million, uh by the end of it, so... And I'm sure they made more money afterwards on uh, DVD sales. Yeah. And shit. That's where those movies make their money. They did? That's where those movies make their money, man. Because p- idiots like me want the movie when it comes out. What? What? Did you just find what? some disconcerting... No, it's just like... That you know how you said that you know everything happens in comic books. <laughs> Ash mm-hmm. versus mm-hmm. Elvis mm-hmm. versus yeah. Bubba Hotep. Like yeah. Ash Crossover. Ketchum, yeah. or yeah, I already knew that was a thing. Of course you did. Yeah, I don't have one. I wish I had one, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna earmark that. <laughs> 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 But yeah, a, a movie made for a million dollars, that's basically four dollars. Yeah, in movies. it really that is. That is a fucking super low budget movie. Huh. <laughs> what? No, I just... Oh, yeah? Hold on a second. Cool, cool story. My computer's being Sweet. Funky. Nice. Good. Oh, are you doing Good. other things that doesn't have anything to do with the podcast that I we're doing? I bet you it's school stuff. No, this is the first just, episode uh, that we're doing. My... My camera is like, it says it's still recording, but the image is froze on it. Oh. 
Don't make so noises, don't please. Really, really <laughs> please don't make noises. Mm. Aaron, please don't. I fucking hate. Don't. I fucking hate. I will mute you. I will mute the fuck out of you right now. Okay, there he goes. Keep pissing him off because he'll fly down here. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll watch Bubba Hotep right? together. And finally do our, our, well, we our weak gonna, man competition. See, I think I paid a quarter for that movie. Because I, I got it from Hollywood Video when they closed down. And we got a lot of movies like that. Yeah. we waited for them to put movies on sale for a quarter. <laughs> and then it was all those movies that nobody wants. Right. But I want them all. <laughs> so if you come to my house, I have so many movies that nobody's seen <laughs> but me. Because I love bad movies. Right. And I, it's funny because I don't love bad movies for the reason I think other people love bad movies. Where they're like, oh, it's so silly, and I just laugh at it because they're dumb. Mm. I genuinely like them. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. yeah, I genuinely find it super fucking entertaining because mm. I'm an idiot. <laughs> so. Yeah. And Travis is gone. That's okay. You had mentioned earlier. I'm not gone. That you wanted to talk about a thing. Oh, what were we talking yeah, Oh, d- Yeah. Thank you. Okay. God, good job. <laughs> it's a little, it's a quick just thing. Oh, okay, fair enough. Because we went to Vegas, right, to see Pikachu. Yeah. And before we went to Pikachu, we, we went and did some shopping. I wanted some clothes. Mm-hmm. Spoilers, didn't get any clothes. Yeah. <laughs> did get a toy and a comic book, though. <laughs> Fucking shit. So, <laughs> oh, to be fair, it's not my fault. I genuinely tried to get clothes. Yeah. And I couldn't find anything I liked that wasn't $60 for a shirt. We all know. I'm not doing that. <laughs> so, <laughs> man, I'll fucking I'll buy you shit, man. No, no we're, we're gonna go things. shopping together, and I'm gonna make you look no. like mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I'm gonna look like beatbox. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, like I, you should be walking down the fashion show mall and just be like, "Look at me." <laughs> <laughs> I was upset because I did find some stuff I really liked, but it was like sixty bucks for a fucking shirt. Just go for it. No, the thing is, is those shirts wanna. will last you no. much longer than the other shit. It's Ah, uh, shirt. Uh, well, I have shirts that I bought in there like a year ago, and yeah. they still look fucking brand uh, new. Ah, shirt, though. Aaron. Yeah. yeah uh, because shirt. it's not like you're going to drive like a moped around, right? Or you're going to drive a fucking car, right? It's like, oh, I'm going to go to Walmart buy a moped. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just. Good stuff costs uh, money. No. But it lasts longer for it. There is a trade off there. It didn't even have Captain America on it. Well, that's not always going to be that's the case. not worth it. You probably could get Captain America because they do get a lot of crossover shit, like Express. Yeah. Uh, if you go to the Express store, do they have a lot of crossover shit? No, they shit did. There. I'm actually really mad at myself because we were looking at clothes and I tried to stay away from the graphic tees because that's all I get. Right. And which is fine. Mm-hmm. It's cool. Yeah. But I wanted some different stuff. Right. And uh, we went to all these different stores in the mall and I found one shirt that was a graphic tee, but it was Powerline. Mm-hmm. Does anybody know who Powerline is? Mm-hmm. From the Goofy no movies? Idea. Oh, the, the singer oh, that yes, he oh. I do know who that is. Oh, okay. And yeah. I've actually, because I'm an idiot, I've been looking for a fucking Powerline shirt. Why didn't you just get it? Forever. I was going to. I put it down because I wanted to look at other stores, make sure I wasn't going to buy a whole bunch of other shirts, you know? Because that was going to be my last case scenario because it's a graphic tee. Rookie mistake. Well, it's a graphic tee. I didn't, I wanted to find some nice shirts. And I didn't find any, but I was like, we'll come back. If I don't get anything, I'll get this. And then we fucking left, and I forgot to get the fucking power line shirt. Rookie mistake. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm really mad, because it was on sale, too. It was like 10 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. I should have just got it. Yeah. But this has nothing to do with what I was trying to say. Um, What? (laughs) This isn't what I was talking about. That's like a Shyamalan twist. Yeah. (laughs) What a twist. (laughs) Um, (laughs) While we were doing the shopping... I saw this one store called uh, Games Workshop, and I had no idea what that was. thought maybe it was a video game store, whatever. Went in there, opened the door. Not a video game store. It's like a tabletop game store. Oh. Which I was like, cool. This will be cool. I like those. I'm starting to get into them. So like like D&D kind of stuff? Yeah, Yeah. like tabletop games. Like 8,000 versions of Monopoly. See, I thought, until I started looking around the store... It was just Warhammer. Only Warhammer's kind of cool, though. Yeah, but, yeah, but a whole just store Warhammer? for just Warhammer. You could do like, it because people. Oh, I know. I, oh, I know. They did it. Yeah, and it made me very angry. 
because name the store something that I'll know that this is a Warhammer store. Right, just like <laughs> Warhammer store. Yeah, exactly. Warhammer Supply or Depot or 40K something. 40K for you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Something that I'm like, oh, I will never go in there. Yeah. Because I wasted my damn time in that store, and that was what I wanted to say. Yeah. Name your stores oh. something that makes sense. Yeah. I would agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. Games Workshop... I had no idea what it was going to be. Right. I thought maybe it was like a GameStop type thing. Right. And then when I saw the tabletop thing, I was like, oh, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. It's like tabletop games. Yeah. But it's just a one. And they are cool, though, those little figures. It's oh, yeah, they're so cool. Game. They put so much work into game. those, and they all look really, really yeah. good. All this, like... Well, most of them are, like, hand-done, aren't they? Yeah. I, I think a lot of them are resin molds, too, but then they paint them by hand. Oh, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. The paint, hand-painted... Mm-hmm. But they're really fucking cool. Like all the, I don't know what you call them, the little play sets. <laughs> the, yeah. the, the sets, like oh. the buildings and shit. Yeah. Those look badass. Like, oh, yeah. It's really cool. Mm-hmm. But I asked the guy, because he's like, you, you already collect Warhammer? Because I'm guessing the only people that go in there collect Warhammer. And I was like, no, what's Warhammer? <laughs> <laughs> and the way he described it to me was like he was reading from a script, though. Oh, it's a tabletop. Warhammer is a yeah. (laughs) Travis is about to do it. Go ahead, Travis. (laughs) Oh, Warhammer Warhammer is a tabletop strategy game in which you fight against other characters using these here. Like that was like like scripted like that. He's like you collect (laughs) you collect characters. You can paint them any way you want. You can battle against other people's armies. I was like, wow, you sound like a robot. (laughs) So So it's like uh, like tabletop risk so much. Not not risk. Uh, um, Stratego? No, fuck Stratego. Wow. God damn it! Wow. Uh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Rude, no. Dude. God. What is that fucking game called? It's a PC game and it's really famous. Uh, Fire Emblem. Civilization. Civilization? Oh, Civ. Yeah. Yeah. Kind yeah. of. Okay. Yeah, Sid Meier Civ. Yeah. <laughs> you know that one? No, I know the game. It's, this is a computer generated strategy game space. where you build an army and fight against <laughs> that I'm friends. confused by yeah. right now. So, uh, yeah, but that place can go suck a dick. Suck a chow! Because rename your store. Yeah. But, I mean, I guess it's cool for people that like Warhammer. Yeah. They had a lot of cool shit. I mean, technically, you could use Warhammer characters for D&D, I suppose. Yeah. No, like yeah, you figures. could. That'd be cool. But it's just like, I don't know how the sizings work. I don't know how big those characters are and compared to what a usual D&D board would. I know some of them are huge. Yeah. Plus, I think a lot of people like play it, D&D on PC now. Like, um, It's easier with like Roll20 and stuff like that. Yeah. But a lot of people prefer the nostalgia. Um, So it's actually pretty much still just as popular to play it. Um, IRL. On a board. Yeah. Yeah. It's just that most people that play together aren't in the same states, I guess. Right, yeah, because finding that much nerddom is kind of difficult. It is. I, yeah. I am, and, and, you know, obviously we're all super nerdy here, so oh, yeah, fuck there's yeah. nothing against that, obviously. But there's... What, uh, the the main thing that I hate about D&D is you get so involved in the story and you're like, oh, this is so cool. And then, like, because real life, people have schedules and they're like, oh, I can't make it this week, so you have to wait it's like reading a good book, but you have to wait a whole another week to read another chapter. Like because a like television show. show? <laughs> no, because television like shows don't randomly get canceled. It's like somebody. Yeah, you, they it's do. Like yes. you they your totally pick. fucking do. Firefly. They totally no, it, randomly that never happens. Get canceled. Your book never gets canceled. Yeah, your books don't get canceled. <laughs> It's like no, oh, but the, I was reading this good monster. book, and then it got canceled <laughs> halfway just through. Takes it out of your hand. <laughs> just give me that shit. It's canceled. You can't read this. Like you get halfway through the book, and all the rest of the pages are canceled. blank. <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, it's oh yeah, it got they canceled have the halfway stamp through." On it, so it's canceled. <laughs> no. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, but no, it's more know. like a TV like, show. Yeah. You know, just saying. Yeah, because those get canceled yeah, all the time. Right. That's why I don't like TV shows. That's why I don't watch TV. No, I watch. I watch you TV. don't watch anything, Aaron. You know, I, you just you you do your music. I do the music, and you you. Speaking that's all of you do. TV shows, yes. Where are we, we transitioning? So Game of Thrones oh, is has ended. Yep, it sure spoilers, is. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. I'm sure he's going to say all the spoilers. <laughs> yeah, Aaron, do you want to do? It? <laughs> it's going to be like Good Mythical Morning as soon as we say something that involves spoilers. Right. It's going to be like we. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big time spoilers. Mm-hmm. The biggest spoilers ever. He's going to tell you everything that happened. Yep. Go ahead. I would be legitimately surprised if... Um, if someone hasn't seen it. I didn't see it. No, if it hasn't... Like, I don't care if they haven't seen it. I would be surprised <laughs> if it hasn't been spoiled for them. Because for whatever reason, with like... Um, with uh, in game, everybody knew like, okay, don't spoil that one. You know, like keep it, keep it well, under wraps. But for whatever reason, but no, like even the fans and the people in the community, they really didn't go out and spoil it too much. Like, but, I mean, people were doing that, but not as bad as Game of Thrones. I for whatever reason, thought. with Game of Thrones, so, shut up, Travis. Huh. Sorry, but this is gonna leave me if I don't get it out. Did you hear about the guy that got his ass beat in Hong Kong for spoiling in game? I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, because he that. walked out of the theater Dude, and yelled about it or has something. Has anybody deserved to get their ass kicked more? Like, fuck that guy. <laughs> I mean, fuck he, that guy. Yeah, I mean, I probably wouldn't go to blows over it, I but totally like, would. I, I'd fuck him up. They're in line to see the movie. Ah, uh, yeah, that is kind of a dick move. Yeah, he's just doing it yeah, to they, be a dick. They did yeah. that, and now he got they his ass that. whooped, and maybe he'll think twice next time he tries to be a dick on purpose. He <laughs> gets ass whooped in Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, yeah, go ahead about Game of Thrones. I just thought that was. But funny. like, I don't know why, but Game of Thrones, as soon as the video or the video, um, video. the episodes are over, people will spoil the fuck out of them. Well, everybody's mad about go it online. This season. Yeah. It was like, Rah, yeah, yeah, so bad. yeah, so they're mad, so they have to go type on their little keyboard. And be like, I'm so angry that they so made it, you show so it's like rage. Do what I want it to do. <laughs> I love it's how the keyboard's are in our face. What, it is? Yeah. what? Rage spoiling. It's rage spoiling. Yeah, I think so because they're just so angry about it. Because mm-hmm. most people that saw Endgame weren't angry. Right. Like the, the movie was so well done. No, I, I actually don't think I've heard anybody that was really upset about in game i've heard people that said Meh, it just wasn't my cup of tea but i haven't heard anybody that's like i hated that movie i actually haven't you know? heard that for what in game yeah. i haven't heard anybody be yeah. upset with it at all mm. yeah i mean i haven't even no, i haven't even heard lukewarm responses yeah everybody is saying how great it is yeah, yeah. but with game of thrones um, there, was, as... there was somebody that uh took their kids at my work but they didn't like superhero movies and they'd never seen any of them. Well, then why go to that, that was movie? A, Wait, they went to Endgame without seeing kids. the other Avengers movies? Well, yeah, the, her kids wanted to go and the, her kids had seen them, but she hadn't. Well, then that person's and, opinion doesn't count. Yeah, like, honestly. Well, that's what I mean. That's yeah. the only lukewarm. But and fucking, it wasn't even that she disliked it. It was just that she was like, man, I could. No, nah, I don't care. You know? Yeah. Makes sense. But she with Game no of Thrones. For. After each episode, I would pull up Twitter, or whatever, and it's just everybody's so mad. They're like, they I know, suck. Yeah, and they don't know what you're doing. And there's a coffee cup on the table, and this happened. And it's like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, just watch the fucking show or don't. Th- that's the biggest problem with that well, is, I mean, is everyone who you... like was okay with it or didn't care that much, you know, just didn't say anything. So the only voices you're hearing is just mm-hmm. people angry, and then you get you hear all the angry, and they're like, okay, well they do have some points, and then you get angry mm-hmm. about it, and everyone's just like, oh, I'm getting up into a tissue about all the shit. Well, that's the common thread, I think. I mean, I'm that way too. Like, you don't really. Everybody thinks I hate everything, but that's just because I talk more about the things I hate yeah. than the things I like. And I don't know why. That's the way your brain works. Miserable fuck. No, no. Uh, that's the way the human brain works. We're no, he's uh, a miserable more fuck. <laughs> adverse. Uh, Thanks, to, I agree. You're welcome. <laughs> we're, we're kind of wired to learn from mistakes than we are to learn from, like... Our, yeah. our 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 wins, right? Yeah. So the mistakes yeah. stick a lot harder. Oh, yeah. So we get all pissy about shit. Yeah, because I hate everything. Yeah. But okay, so let's let's do it like this. Aaron, what did you think about how Game of Thrones ended? I was fine with it. I I thought it was a fitting end uh, to a show that had been consistently, uh, like I don't know, not. I'm just very just in most of its rulings. Every per every character on there that did or you know did or had done something bad, they usually got their just desserts pretty much every time. And uh, you know how it happened makes sense to me, and I I was totally fine with it. The only the only thing that I say is that didn't really make sense, um, is why that dragon didn't eat the fuck out of Jon Snow. So uh, I I still don't get that. Uh, like I mean I get he's a Targaryen, but that was Mama, and he just watched him ganker. Uh huh. Gank. And like I, I, 
Yes, but he was um, the only he, other guy who who uh, uh, rode who the dragon. Respected slightly, and yeah. So the dragon was like, "Oh, I hate you, but I also kind of like you, so I'm just gonna be really pissed off and leave." And so I'm gonna symbolically melt this throne for good imagery instead of good story. I mean, yeah, I you gotta instead of but, good um, story. What a passive aggressive dick you are. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, God, damn. I didn't think that that I didn't think that that whole story, that whole scene. I thought that whole scene was very. They tried to be symbolic about it, but the dragon's not gonna sit there and be like. You know, this is why family shouldn't feud. Let's get rid of this chair. Then that way, nobody will fight it over How it anymore. How do you know what the dragon? Then thinking. brothers won't stab sisters. Well, I mean, the dragon's not, the dragon's not going to think that. How do you know? Are you I, a I, dragon? Have well, you ever been a dragon? I think they have more, given no dragons intelligence before. Then. My justification for what it was is like when you get really mad at someone. You see it in the shows, like they have a sword or something. They're about to stab someone in the face, and then they stab right next to their face. Yeah, right, because they're like, ah, I shouldn't kill you though, you know, for whatever yeah. reason. And Jon Snow and the thing, the the throne was right there. It's like, oh, okay, dang it, and then just yeah. kind of like fuck off and piss. It's just blowing off the rage. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's n- not, you know. Hmm. Like, like obviously and they like were said, using is that it, the, but it was justified. In is that mind. is that the end of the world? No, no. <laughs> were you did, still mad did about I it? In, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, did I did I enjoy it? <laughs> no. <laughs> I I can't say that I enjoyed it. I can't say that really? it was really good, but I can't say that it was. I can't say it was bad if that's how they wanted to end it. That's their vision. That's their creation. But oh, oh. I just didn't like it. I have a question. You yeah. watched it with other people, didn't you? Uh-huh. So that, I'm guessing that was a consensus then. That what? most people just didn't enjoy it. Do you have a charger? Um, no, the other family that was there watching it with us, they liked it. Um, Alicia didn't. And I, I didn't. Alicia was trying to like it, but I was just like, I, I don't like that. Yeah. Okay. You know, it, it, um, and that's the thing is, it, it's funny because as much hate as the season got, as so far it's very mixed on the on the end. I haven't heard very many people say, oh, it's the just worst thing ever. I, <laughs> There's too many, Aaron. <laughs> what are you doing? Plugging his headphones what's, back what's in. What's going on? Because they uh, died. Oh, because he broke it. Um. But any which way, yeah, like, it hasn't been outrageously, like, overwhelmingly, I hate this, or outrageously overwhelming, I love this. I've just kind of heard people either be like, eh, it kind of sucked, or eh, it was all right, you know? Yeah, I mean, I, and, you know, I didn't love it, per se, but I enjoyed it, you know? I was like, okay, cool, you know? That makes sense to me. And I think... Everything worked. I th- I think that's probably actually like for what that show was, that's probably some of the worst reactions just because it's been 11 years and just to have it end as a, eh, is all right. But I mean, you know, kind of thing. Isn't we that have, how most shows end? We, you kind of have to also remember. Dexter definitely did. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, Dexter did, Lost did, like a lot of the big ones. It's, I mean. Yeah, we, I mean, but they were so good at their core and then they just kind of. Hang on, Aaron so, has a point. I mean. <laughs> Oh, is I entire, think sorry, yeah. the big thing is, though, is like there's the old adage of it's about the journey, not the destination. You yeah, know, you, we all know that's bullshit. It's not. Yeah, I want the destination is, to be though. cool as it's fuck. It's not, though. Who has sex just to have sex? Right. You have sex to for the big finish. Yeah, for the, all over. the big pop. <laughs> that's what you have sex for. Yeah. It's about the destination. It's about where you're going. It's about getting yeah there. i mean it feels good on the way but the the ending's the best that's what you're doing it for <laughs> yeah <laughs> otherwise why would you ever finish <laughs> i know aaron's just is, pissed right now <laughs> <laughs> that was such a good example cody Thank you. i'm so glad you came up Thank you. <laughs> Just to piss off him. Yeah, he's so thing. mad right now. <laughs> Silently <laughs> boiling in his chair. Well, because it makes so much sense when you put it like <laughs> Sorry, Aaron. Go ahead, buddy. He's so mad. Oh, he's done. I think he's done. I think I broke Aaron. Are we done? <laughs> but we have we have eight more minutes, Aaron. Come back. We gotta fill eight more in minutes, gotta, buddy. We have to fill a lot more than that still. So I hope I, I should have saved well, this. Well, I mean, for this episode. I know, but episode. I should have saved this and broke him later. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. Make your point. 
you're right, except for that you're wrong. <laughs> except for that Cody just logic you to death. <laughs> <laughs> he logically murdered yeah. you. <laughs> oh, that was my favorite thing ever. <laughs> God, see, I <laughs> fucked up though because I'm in the same room as Aaron. <laughs> no, but I enjoy that so much because, like, what do you say to that? <laughs> uh, you you okay. want to talk to us, buddy? Are you calming down a little bit? No, we're waiting for you here. <laughs> oh, that was so good. <laughs> Oh, okay. I think he's he's changing his 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 body position. Oh, leaning out of the mic. I think you're doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, <laughs> no, no. I, I get what you're saying. Though. I do get what you're saying. But at the end of the day, nobody gives a fuck about the journey. Even though they probably should. But, I mean, that's why we invested so much time into it, right? Because the journey has been amazing. Like, okay, if you get a fuck-off ending, fine, but you still had 11 years of good fucking entertainment. Do we really care? Like, like you had a... Like, let's say you die fucking tomorrow, right? You died tomorrow, and you get, like, uh, your fucking... Heart just explodes for no reason. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's a shitty fucking way to die. That's horrible. It sucks. And I won't right? get to meet JDF. But, <laughs> God <damn> it. <laughs> but, it, do you want people to just, oh yeah, his heart exploded. Or do you w- fucking want people to remember the way that you were during I mean, your life? I mean, personally, you're going to hate me. I don't care because I'm dead, but I see what well, you're going course. for. Yeah. <laughs> but also, that's a terrible way to end because I didn't get to meet the Green Power Ranger. God damn it. Do you get Can my Can I die po- next mm-hmm. month? No. Uh, but then, no, then I'm unhappy. Then that's a bad ending. Well, I know, but in, in retrospect, because you don't get a fucking choice at this point, because you're dead, <sighs> right? I think you're missing the point, is we're saying we're just solely selfish, and we don't care what other people were thinking. Yeah. We're just like, oh, that sucks. Yeah, we're assholes, is what we're saying. And yeah. you're not, so mm-hmm. I think that's why there's a disconnect there. <laughs> yeah. There's definitely a disconnect. <laughs> there's definitely a disconnect. I'm telling you, people, you're and like honestly, a better person honestly, than Aaron, us. I really don't want people to remember me how I was because I don't think I'm that great, honestly. Oh like, wow! I, I think do I want do I want them to remember the asshole guy that sat there and made fun? Hmm. I, I actually, I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to tell you this right now that I having that perspective on yourself is a good thing, and I think that makes you a good person in the first place because if you can at least be introspective enough to understand. Saying, hey, I was kind of a shitty person at one point in time. Like, you at least know that because a lot of shitty people are just like, oh, no, I was great, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, because I'm horrible. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm a, a terrible person too. T- no, you're a nice. Guy. I would yeah. say that I've gotten you're better really than I that was, better. but <laughs> like, that doesn't mean anything good. If you if you were to like take our stats, like our, our dickishness stats, and like compared me, Travis, and you. You would see a big difference uh, of I, how less actually, I think, you actually, are. I think actually, Travis actually, would disagree. I, no, I know you I can be. I would say that Aaron would be pretty. <laughs> I know pretty Aaron up. can be. That's the difference here. He can be. I usually am, and I've known Travis long enough that he always is. <laughs> so <laughs> I think your moments of dickishness wouldn't measure up to my always dickishness. Uh, my, I think my. Moments of dickishness he has some pretty intense he does. moments yeah. are pretty damn intense. No, you do, you do, but I hate everything. Yeah, like I, you, we talked about this on a previous episode where I hope for things to fail. Yeah, and you thought that was crazy. No, I mean, that's yeah. how much of a dick I am. Yeah. I want things to be bad so that they can be bad. Because I'm a horrible person. The only time I want things to be bad, I'm glad people are like... mad about Game of Thrones. <laughs> Like, okay, let's let's say, like, my friends are like, oh, let's uh, go try this new MMO. And I'm like, oh, great, yeah, I'll go try it. I just want it to be bad so I don't have to pay for something else. <laughs> you know, you do have the option yeah. of, like, not doing it. <laughs> I do, but, I like, him. when they buy the base game for you and they're like, here, I'm like, oh. I'm the same way because I will, like, get a new number one comic book and 
I'll hope that it sucks. Yeah. Because if I like right, it, that's you're another like, thing I'll I have, have to, to spend money on yeah, this. Yeah, this is another thing I'm going to start buying because yeah. I know me and I'm going to. So <laughs> That's the only time that I really, really hope things fail or want it to be bad is like if I know that I'll spend money on it if it's good. <laughs> but to be honest, you are right that people should care more about the journey. But if you look at it, nobody does. It, the endings ruin. Every, like you can watch a great fucking movie for two hours and then the last five minutes is just garbage yeah and it ruins the whole movie so basically you're saying and i agree with you is that life sucks because mm-hmm. when you get old life sucks yeah. no matter what yeah so yeah okay yeah. fair so, enough yeah, yeah. enjoy life it while it lasts well that's what they say life sucks then you die mm-hmm. so i mean yeah no i mean you know we go through periods you know like at the beginning you don't remember anything so fuck it and then you, you become like somewhat <laughs> cognizant and mm-hmm. you're dumb as shit so everything's great <laughs> yeah. so <laughs> there's moments in there that are fantastic yeah. But nobody remembers those moments. Mm-mm. We all focus on the shit, yeah. and we probably shouldn't, yeah. but we do. And then you get old, and you can barely fucking hold in your pee. Although, remember I can't wait to what happened old. anyway. I'm so excited to be old. I'm just to be a dick. God. I've been old my whole life. Yes, yes yeah. you have. I'm already old, because I hate everything. But... Aaron's right. We should try to be better people. <laughs> we should try I mean, to care no, more honestly, about the journey. <laughs> honestly, that's... That's something that I've personally tried to work on, like, and maybe not specifically that, but just working on myself um, a lot this last couple of years. Um, and I think that I've done a fucking terrible job, but um, I'm going to keep trying anyway. <laughs> terrible job. But it's just, it is true, though, how that, the ending can just ruin your perception of something. Oh, yeah. Because, like, I loved Lost. Yeah, oh, 100%. And I don't know if you guys watched all of Lost, but that ending can go fuck um, itself. Somebody spoiled it for me, and I stopped it's watching so it. It's so bad. Mm. And I it ruined the show for me. Same with Dexter. Mm-hmm. Love that show. I think that's why I stopped getting into TV shows. Yeah. Because the endings are always somebody, so stupid. Somebody wrote a post that uh, about, uh, like, to the Game of Thrones people. <laughs> Spoilers, by the way, for Dexter. Hmm. Um, they're like, if you, d- um, if you didn't have to sit through Dexter with driving out into the eye of a hurricane with his sister's dead body so that he could run away and leave his kid with a known serial killer to be a lumberjack, <laughs> then fuck you, Game of Thrones was fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. did anybody become a lumberjack? Yeah. God, that was... I mean, that, that might so be the bad. worst a, ending of all time. I mean, Game of who thought that one up is my question. Game like, of Thrones thought, is like, fine in comparison to that. Like yeah. even to people who hated that oh, ending, yeah. even in comparison to the lost ending too. Yeah, like, like that's a fuck you that's ending. A really if I've bad ever ending seen one. too. That yeah. was terrible. Mm-hmm. I mean, lost. They, wasn't it like they're all dead? Yeah, yeah, they were dead and the whole time. They were dead the whole time. I hate, yeah. I hate things where they're dead the whole time, or there was a dream. Shyamalan twist, or yeah, what yeah. a twist. I hate what that. Twist. That motherfucker can go f- suck an egg. I think the only Shyamalan movie that I liked the twist in was uh, Devil. I didn't see that. Oh, one. Devil was good. Well, he's had a yeah, couple Devil good movies. Was good. Devil was good. Uh, Six Sense was good. I, everyone knows. I like Six Sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Six, Six Sense. Sense was like, good. I actually didn't know that that was Shyamalan because I came to hate his movie so bad. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I know. Like, I hated on him so much, and then I had to remember that he made a couple good ones. I remember the the first movie that I absolutely hated was of his was which one? The Blind Girl. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. The blind um, Girl. No, I don't. I'm sorry. The Village. The Village. The village. Oh, oh God, that fucking yeah. movie. It was so good for a little bit, and Until then it, it wasn't, wasn't <laughs> anymore. Yeah, that's kind of his uh, his formula. Yeah, is it's really good, and then it's not anymore, <laughs> and then everything <laughs> about it's terrible, and then it stops being good again. It just reminds me of Cartman, like, oh hey guys, there was no danger at all. <laughs> it was all in our heads, guys. Wow. <laughs> I hate this such shit. a bullshit. Like, how come nobody knows how to end things? Right. Yeah, it's just... That's my issue. But it's only in, like, I find that mostly in TV and movies. Because I read I 100%... a lot. And the endings in books, I'm usually not upset with. Yeah. I 100% think that this one was because the directors yeah. wanted to move on. I think if you... Like, um... Thought on the subject? Yeah, I have a, I have a couple. Well, of I was talking to Aaron, to but go it. ahead, like, you first. Oh, sorry, no, I thought you were you're talking fine. To me. Um, yeah. Well, now I don't want to talk. To Just me. fucking say your goddamn point, you son of a bitch. Okay, so like oh, for example, HBO came yeah. to 
um, HBO came to uh, the directors of Game of Thrones. It was like, oh, hey, um, we're going to contract you for 10 more seasons or 10 more episodes for oh, this final season. season. And they looked at him and go, nah, we can do it in six. <laughs> like, OK, that's your first sign that, yeah, OK, maybe not, they're not that interested in it. Then on top of that, they already have this big Star Wars contract that they have, like, waiting until they're they done. That. When, once Star they're done, Wars they money. can go. Yeah, they can go do their Star Wars thing, which, um, you know, cool for them that they have more opportunities, but, like, finish your shit. Um, and then, like, a lot of the edits and stuff like that and were just kind of sloppy, you know, like, just from a... a I, I Can I... Can I film anything better? No, I don't have the know-how or knowledge, no, but, but I know that if I know that if you're leaving shit on set more than once, because yeah. I mean, the one time I get it, that shit happens, okay? Because like I've had that happen. That like, but um, <clears throat> go ahead. I feel like that. Uh, I don't even know what to call it. When people say that shit, like, oh, well, can you make it better? I don't think that's fair. It's not because it's like, oh, we should all be able to make TV shows to know what's a good TV show. Yeah, like so. your job is to make a good TV show and not leave a coffee cup on the table. Yeah. That's your job. The, so do it. The thing is, is like, <laughs> like I don't and then understand the, how it made it, it so again. far because like the guy who's actually behind the cameraman and the focus puller, those are the first two people who see it. Right. Mm -hmm. And Right. They should both yep. be like, hey, there's a thing in the shot. Yep. Okay, they missed it. And then the editor. Then it goes to editing, yep. right? That guy sure as shit should have seen it. Definitely. That guy should be fired. Yeah. And then. I mean, I know the show's over, but he should be fired from his next job. <laughs> <laughs> then there's the. Well, and not, not to mention that they edit it like three or four times, they have people going. And, and then the yeah. director of cinematography oh, yeah. has to go over and approve everything. And then the director for the entire yep. show has to approve it. And the executive producer has to approve yep. everything. This was seen and by also, a lot of Daenerys people. Daenerys shouldn't put her coffee cup on the table. Because <laughs> it had to be hers. It was right in front of her. Right, yeah. So, bitch, well, throw it away. <laughs> but that's what ticks me off is it not that they did it one time because okay you know shit happened. did it happen twice but in the final episode in the final episode where they were all sitting outside um talking about who's going to be king with Tyrion, um if you look by um oh what's his nut um <laughs> <What's> his nut? <laughs> who billy i can't um Ron? to the if you're sitting in Arya Stark or not Arya Stark. Yeah, Arya Stark's seat, it was to the right of her. That guy that I couldn't remember who it was until he started talking and I was like, "Oh, you're still fucking alive?" He's like, "I should be king and da da da." The one you were talking about. Oh yeah. yeah. It, it was Sansa's uncle. I can't remember his name right now. Billy Blaze. Yeah, um It wasn't Benjen cuz Benjen was a cool guy. Nobody cares. Um, Just go on with your point. We literally but said that the exact same uh, time. There was like Oh. <laughs> There was like a, a couple water bottles by his feet in the scene. Was there really? See, yeah, there was. Sloppy. They did it twice. It is. And that's what I mean. It just felt rushed and sloppy, and it yeah, showed. That's fucked up, and I forgot what we were originally talking about. It doesn't matter because this is the end of the <laughs> episode. Welcome to the end of the episode. <laughs> Yay! Yay! You made it. We did it. Good job. I hope you liked this, and if you did, make sure to like this video and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of shit. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know why, and but if, yeah. And if you'd like to, you could subscribe to mine and Cody's channel, yeah, Breaking the it. Cycle, down in the description below. Eventually, we'll make more stuff. Yeah. E. E? e? Was he e? stretching? I stretched. I thought oh, so. Okay. I, I thought so. <laughs> I could see Travis stretching in my mind. We also have an uh, email account you can uh, you can hit up and ask us questions and you can also post in the comments. Either way works for us. You can look at the show notes and there's stuff down there yeah. you can do it there. Anyway, you guys have an awesome week and we'll see you in the next one.